everyone. Thanks for choosing America's Morning Headquarters to get you through the mid-morning hours. That's right. The Weather Channel here to help you plan out the big events that are ahead for the day and uh, end of the week for that matter. And unfortunately, uh, yet another few days in this winter season of having to track Severe weather. Severe weather in January and February is just uh, sort of an evolving trend here. Yes, we're going to delve into that in our couch conversation. Also on the show today, we're going to talk about something common in the wintertime, which is dry air and how it affects your skin. So stay tuned for that yes. as well. Well, today's big deal. Pick a struggle. Another storm. We're going to see those dew points come up. We're going to feel difference in the air out there today. Right now, we don't have much here going on in Louisiana. We're fine in Baton Rouge. But this is the zone that Alex showed us where we have a four on the tour con up towards Vicksburg and Natchez and Jackson in Mississippi. We've got a three that extends down to Lafayette and Baton Rouge here and over towards New Orleans here in Louisiana. So we'll time out everything for you. You'll start to see through the afternoon scattered showers moving in coming up actually from south to north. That's going to be as we get that warm air advection, we get the more moisture coming in across this area. So that'll go on through this afternoon, and then we'll see more thunderstorms developing. This is about 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, then we see a line moving in from the west here, and that will be the last part of this, but certainly might be the punchiest part of it with the risk of some strong damaging winds, and there is that possibility of a spin-up of tornadoes. All right, so let's then jump north to Jackson, because you're right here at the heart of it in Mississippi for the risk. We've got a full Four on the Torcon. The scale goes to 10, so you can see where we sit today. Damaging winds, the main threat, but we do also have that risk of some isolated tornadoes, and you can't rule out some hail, I think, across this region as well. Four o'clock or so, thunderstorms start coming in, moving from south to north at first. Then as we get through the evening, you'll see a line of thunderstorms tracking in from west to east. It's not one line or one storm. We're going to have multiple chances of storms coming through here and really have to pay attention to all of it, bringing that risk for severe weather. Heavy rain will also be a feature though here as well. I think there'll be a lot of clouds, a lot of rain. Uh, if indeed there are tornadoes, it will be difficult to see them. New Orleans, let's zoom in to you and talk about your timing. So we've got a three here um, on the north side of town, two here in New Orleans, the north side of Lake Pontchartrain, I should say. Let's go ahead and time out everything for you. Again, throughout the day, showers move in. This is your afternoon. Scattered showers. A lot of the activity might be north until we get to this evening. And then we see thunderstorms moving in across the area. This is 11 o'clock. The possibility of severe weather, damaging winds, the main threat with that isolated tornado risk. Now, we also have some wintry weather up to the north here. Dr. Fostel, let's go to what's happening on the northern side. Yeah, Jen, the same system. You melt? I no, I don't know. I just get a feeling of, I want some ice cream today, even though it's cold outside. It's cold? I want to be more cold? I know, it's odd. I know, it's <laughs> the strangest thing. Well, we had a poll going yesterday asking you what type of weather actually made you want to snack more, and hot weather didn't win it. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. It was it didn't. Cold, cold and snowy. There you go. Uh, in fact, Joe uh, says it's... Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yes, we appreciate <laughs> that. That's plan. Uh, we were talking yesterday. I'd say popcorn is probably my favorite snack right now. Yeah, yeah that's a good I mean, it's yeah. really easy. It's just, just kind of pop it in. Uh, yeah, I like that. Well, the new storm will make you want to keep the snacks around due to the widespread downpours and a lot. And it really has. I mean, this is now six weeks in a row mm -hmm. uh, of having to deal with this. Yeah. And, you know, if, if it was the middle of spring, we'd be like... Well, it's spring. Right. But it's winter. Yes. Yeah. There's been many more severe events that we've been talking about than big snow events. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. More about this. Yo, know, Greg, it's not uncommon to get thunderstorms in the winter. It happens. But the amount that we've seen has, mm -hmm. has us asking, well, okay, well, is something changing? Yeah, it is changing. When you think about the number of days that we're active. Yeah, truly amazing. I mean, we could even extend that back into December as well a bit yeah. because remember we had some active uh, weeks then as well. So it has definitely been the, the clip of the severe weather that they're, they're, they're coming. It's just a little bit much. Yeah, and while we showed that calendar of overall, the answer is close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, right we're right up there. It was third in the all-time list. Wow. January when it came to tornadoes. Yeah, and obviously, as we mentioned, the South uh, does experience its... It was the Southern Plains, Oklahoma, yeah. right. Texas. Yeah. So it yes. doesn't necessarily say anything about winter versus spring, but we're obviously seeing it happen in the winter months. It's been warmer. It's been a very mild winter. Right, very mild winter. And in February, let's look ahead just a little bit. Typically, it's much less... Uh, so that is good news, but still the risk is yeah. there for some icing. we got to be mindful of that. I think it's a timing thing in that we're not going to spend that much time in the freezing yes, rain. And yes. then, then we get into snow. Yeah, so yeah. that change over happening quicker, we'll take that. Yeah, snow is so much easier. So let's talk about all sides of it. We'll get you into this storm first in the Midwest, where, of course, we have some wintry weather. And this is where temperatures, they're not crazy cold. In fact, when you look at the headlines for some of these areas from the National Weather Service offices, it's still mild. But yet we have snow in the forecast. 
Even with a mild forecast here for February, that's still cold enough to produce snowfall. And so for us in Madison, we may get five to eight inches watching the weather forecast for you there in Dane County. We've got the chance of snow three to five down across eastern Iowa and cities like Davenport and Cedar Rapids, Des Moines all have that chance of some new snow coming on in. It's just that it's not going to be locked in, you know, in the teens or certainly not the single digits. It'll be in the 30s, maybe a few spots a little bit colder than that. That's where we start right now. We're in the 20s, 28 degrees in Chicago, 28 degrees in Green Bay. We're going to see the moisture return, and as that happens, our temperatures actually will come up a little bit. They're just not coming up that far, and that's why we have some concerns for first a little bit of ice, maybe a glaze, and then we get into the snow. Winter Storm Watch, Madison, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, Waterloo. We'll see what this turns into. Is it either a winter weather advisory or a winter storm warning? There is a winter storm warning right now posted from Green Bay to Sheboygan. It really matters. The National Weather Service issues those, and it really depends on the local area and what they're typically used to. And that's how you winter weather advisory is less severe than a winter storm warning. Now, watch the moisture come in. Rain, St. Louis to start. Rain moving up here. We'll see rain in places like Davenport and Peoria and Chicago and Milwaukee. But then you see that pink. That's a little bit of icing. So that's a possibility for you in Green Bay. But then you see how the snow fills in as we get some of that cold air filtering in on the backside of this system. Very typical trajectory of the cold air coming on in. And it'll be at eventually all layers of the atmosphere. So you don't have that precip risk of freezing rain or sleet or anything like that. It does turn over to all snow, I think, pretty quickly. Detroit, though, we stay as rain for the event. The cold air just doesn't really sweep in here until the end when the moisture sweeps out. And even then, it's not the coldest of cold situations. First up, the glaze of ice. We've got that about maybe a tenth of an inch, and it's patchy in terms of amounts and then in terms of other concerns, the wind, very strong winds. And we got to talk about that, Greg. There actually may be some severe winds by Thursday here. Then to the south, we've got strong storms there as well. Yeah, and those winds that you're talking about are bringing a lot of moisture northward out of the Gulf of Mexico, which is going to help fuel some storms later on today. Jen, thank you very much. Let's have a look at what we've got ongoing. With some tips is board certified dermatologist Dr. Elizabeth Kirikoff with dry skin. Thanks so much. I love this question um, because there's so right. You want to either scoop out or squeeze out of a tube. Now, what about ingredients? So is there something specific we should look for when choosing face wash and moisturizer? Absolutely. So sometimes in the wintertime, it's actually uh, when we have to head outside, of course, in the elements. Uh, what are some things that you can do to to, to to maybe wear to protect your skin? The most important thing is then a lot of people washing their hands or and using hand sanitizer. So which is worse for your skin? Is it, if you make the choice, is one better than another? Oh gosh, it's such a good- Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Uh, now, of course, we've certainly dealt with a, a, quite a bit of cloudy and rainy days this winter uh, across the nation. But I even in those weather situations, is it still important to wear sunscreen? Oh my goodness. Can your skin get used to the kind of climate you're in? For example, dew points, really low, very dry air across the Mountain West versus in Florida, right? Even in the wintertime, the air doesn't get that dry. Does your skin get used to that? Uh, or is it just kind of you're born with what you're born with? It's wow, very enlightening. Uh, thanks so much, Dr. Elizabeth Kirikoff, board-certified dermatologist. We certainly appreciate you for joining us. Great information on yeah. skin right into the winter. We, we all yeah. go through it, right? And I was thinking about snowbirds, you know, might be going south for the month right. of February, for example, and that really it will encounter different a different kind of atmosphere. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. true. But uh, no doubt, as she mentioned, it is key to protect ourselves all year round. Winter, summer, spring, fall. That's like a continuous light wind would be best, yeah. like off the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is I, why I was surprised to see this is one of the world's biggest festivals, actually. That is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, nice day, though. Today. Great day for it. Absolutely. I remember growing up in the D.C. area, we also always used to have a kite day. Did you guys have a kite day growing up? Kite day? Like yeah. at school? Yeah. You literally had a whole day where you would go outside and fly a kite. No way. No, well, no wonder you guys are so into kites It's the greatest here. thing. It's the greatest yeah. thing. Absolutely. Did you wait? Did you have to make a kite? Did you? No, no. You just go buy it. You, you buy know, a cheap kite. little yeah. drugstore. There's like grab. probably those like diamonds. Yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. like ends. You were mm -hmm. perfect. Good to go. Things how, we enjoyed growing. Yeah, how fun. <laughs> I don't think they do that anymore, but sad. Kite day. All right. I, I just had to pick it because this one just blew my mind. Uh, it is the Mike the Headless Chicken Festival. And you can see there's the, the logo for you there. Uh, yeah, it is true. Uh, celebrating a chicken from back in the 40s. It was on its way to the local farmer's table and, well, somehow survived the beheading. 
became quite famous after this, right? Toured the country. People were coming in from all over the place to see this thing. Mike ended up living for 18 months with no head. It this, didn't like regenerate or anything? No, 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 it's no. a regeneration. There's no head. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it's, it's just one of those miracles. Uh, so now in his memory, uh, there's this festival. You got a car show at the festival. There's my, uh, music, live music. And of course, you got to have a wing eating contest. You got to have some chicken. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the chicken's name was Mike? Mike the chicken, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I don't know how you found this. I don't either. The internets, they keep giving. They keep yeah. giving. <laughs> oh, well, man. Um, yeah. if you're going, take a look at the forecast uh, today anyway. Uh, looking, uh, well. Not bad. Little, little, no 40s. A little cold for biking. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Because that was the headline, wasn't it? The Viking, <laughs> and then that sort of took over. It did take a look. Yeah, it took a turn. Uh, but that uh, festival is every uh, June, early June, first weekend in June. So if you're planning on checking it out, June is your time. <laughs> time snowstorm, particularly a nor'easter. No. I can't think of a big one that has happened. You saw yesterday off the coast. Yeah. But it was too far, too far away coast to create any weather for mm -hmm. us. Could, what well, could have been? Right. <laughs> could have should when some of those big storms uh, may be hitting out there. Uh, lots to track your forces as we head through the midweek. Yeah, a lot to track, and, you know, no surprise, I guess. Is it a surprise, or should it be a surprise? We're going to delve mm -hmm. into that one. Plus, on the show, we're going to talk about the dry air, the lower dew points that come with winter, and how you can actually help your skin not be so dry. Mm -hmm. Well, today's big deal. Pick a struggle. Another storm is...